Well, there's a tragic end to the case of the missing girl in Texas. Authorities say they've recovered the remains of 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham, who vanished on Thursday while on her way to school near Houston. And the Polk County District Attorney's Office is charging the girl's neighbor, Don Stephen McDougal, who was arrested on Friday on unrelated charges. McDougal says he's not guilty. He says he's done nothing wrong. With us now, Senior Chief Law Enforcement and Intelligence Analyst John Miller. I do not, not have to tell you this is every parent's worst nightmare. This is someone who lived on their property that they trusted, trusted so much that he could bring her to the bus stop. Take us into the hours, days of searching for her, from when the sheriff found out she was missing to this. Well, in this case, the Polk County Sheriff did what needed to be done, which is he realized going in, we know what to do, but we're going to need a lot of help. He called in the Texas Rangers, the Texas Department of Public Safety, but he also called in the FBI. And the FBI brings in the CARD team. That's the Child Abduction Rapid Deployment Team. This is almost like something out of a TV show. It's five seasoned agents who have worked child abduction cases before. It's a polygraph expert. It's a, a member of the CAST team, which is the cellular phone tracking people who can create tracking and maps, depending on, you know, if they have a target. Uh, a couple of analysts to put all the information together into a computer and leads and mapping. Um, why? Because we all know from these cases that the first 24 hours is so critical. We know in child abduction cases that end with the death of the child, 76% uh, of those happen within the first three hours, 89% happen within the first 24 hours. So literally when you go into that case, it's a race against time. So he brought in all kinds of resources, which is how they identified a suspect quickly, which is how they were able to resolve it quickly. But again, in this case, in the race against time, uh, they probably didn't have much even when they started. The suspect in, in this case, and Poppy points out the proximity, he also had a pretty lengthy rap sheet, I, yeah. I believe. What do we know about him? So he is uh, a bit of a drifter around Texas because when you read his rap sheet, it goes from county to county, town to town. Um, it's a lot of low end stuff, uh, DUIs, drug possession, resisting arrest, assault. But there is a telling case on there where he is accused of um, sexual exploitation of a child. That would have made him a registered sex offender, that particular charge, but the court records indicate it was downgraded to a guilty plea of child enticement, and this goes back several years. So he literally wasn't on the radar in that regard. And what we learn from these cases again is, we think as parents, as, as, as people that uh, the child abductor is going to be this boogeyman. He's uh, some drifter who came from out of the neighborhood and saw a child and snatched them up. We keep learning over and over again that the vast majority of child abduction cases involve somebody who knows the house, who knows the family, who's familiar with the children, either a friend or a casual acquaintance, a neighbor, a neighbor's teenage child. Um, we think back to, you know, our viewers, you guys remember this, Charlotte Senna, October, not that long ago, upstate New York. Yeah. You know, that's a miracle case where they found her. They found her. They found her alive, um, you know, in a trailer of someone who, you know, found her in a park. So, you know, these things, these things are every parent's nightmare. And what can you do about that? It's, you know, you can try two things, which is one, know the people around you who might have access to your children. Now, most of us don't have the resources to do an extensive background check. But the other thing is to tell your child, don't go with anybody who says to come yeah. with me unless, even if you know them, unless you ask us first. But that's hard for kids. But even with this downgrade, it's not clear that anything would have shown up. No, that's to right. To that extent on the background. Jack John, thanks for the reporting.